let's get started. We will start with full body stretches, with leading with yes, but yes, ready. We start with full body stretches with calf raises. Calf raises up and down. Keep counting. Eight. Nine. We don't know. Next, um, next, next, uh, uh, full body set is over now. I'll go and next hand and beat. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, uh, please give eight, nine, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
प्लीज म्यूर नेक्स्ट now uh, hand throwers now body bending throwers we will start hand exercises arm swing next hand rotation next um ninety or eighty alternative uh the chance alternative four three two one next um shoulder rotation anti clockwise and now the news 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 then next uh, idli and dosa idli and dosa anti clockwise Now up to the third down Italy. Anti clockwise. The third. Anti clockwise. and then now we we'll do a uh, bend dip anti clockwise and time is 6543 to 1 other hands 1 2 3 4 Two and three. Two and two.
next uh, one to five five to one one and five two and five Three and five, four and five, and then come and pinky. Sun and drop it. Next, um, Finger massage one minute. Next finger class. Next, we'll do uh, finger crisscross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now index finger one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ring middle finger one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the ring finger one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Little finger one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, our finger bending one, two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A index finger one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Middle finger one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ring finger one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then last little finger one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's do finger brain gym. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anti clockwise, then seven, six, five, four, three, one. Now index finger. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anti clockwise, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one. Now middle finger, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anti clockwise, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Now ring finger, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anti-clockwise, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Now little finger one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anticlockwise ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now finger twist. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Now one and three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, two and four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four. Next. Um finger to the turn, now finger alternative. Okay, no, switch hands. One, two, three, four, four, three. Finger to switch hand. Four, four, four three, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, two, one, one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Yes. Next, um, let's do uh, finger alternative. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, ten, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, ten, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, um, hook up alternative. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, ten, nine, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 Five, two, three, four, five, six, Uh, next will be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, neck rotation. Slowly. One, two, Three, four, Nine. Next, let's do ice twenty twenty twenty. Anti clockwise. Okay. Uh, next rotation anti clockwise. Um, three. Next, uh, product one.
2020. We, we did it before anti clockwise. We did neck rotation anti clockwise, and then we have to do 20, 20, 20. Yeah, I did it before. I did it before anti clockwise. Okay, sure. we'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I'll try to fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now same hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, um, brother two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now we'll do um, start of three. One, two, three, four. Five. Eyes on your thumb. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now, anti clockwise, try to make with uh, circles. One, two, rotation, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, ten. Yes, next. Um, that is three, that is four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, uh, other hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, start of five. One, So it's hard. Yes, eyes over now. Full body stretches. First, 
plus one, eight to one. Second one, three, two, one. Now uh, last one, one, three, two, one. Now uh, let's do the question about Next, what of like? Big club and that uh, now we'll do the massage in the facts. Next, uh, your rotation. Anti clockwise. One clockwise, one anti clockwise. Now, uh, the other way around. Next, uh, finger up and down. Here. One up, one down. Bring up here, front and back. One front, one back. Uh, Riti, you should keep your cameras on, dear. Riti. Happy morning, coach. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning, coach. Happy morning. Yes, let's get started. Happy morning, everybody. Welcome to Superb Story Time. A time where we become thought leaders. We derive wonderful, beautiful life skills, life values from simple and nice stories. Let's get started. Yes. This is a story of a king and a minister. They both had gone out for hunting and they got lost. And now it was almost afternoon they ran out of food they didn't have anything they're just wandering in the jungle in the forest and looking for something to eat now there was no water there was no food nothing and somewhere in the evening they meet this but they meet one person a farmer they meet him in the jungle somewhere in the middle of the jungle and they ask him uh, we are very hungry and he says, yeah, yeah, yes, your highness, you're the king and the minister, you both are here. 
and uh, this thing. Uh, how can I help you? I'm very hungry. Can you give us something? And this man was carrying apples. He's carrying apples. He said, sir, please, I have apples and all that. They were so hungry, they picked up one by one, one by one. Eight, eight, both of them ate together close to 10 apples they finished on. And finally, they were feeling a little bit of energy and they had a little bit of water. And finally, they were saying, ah, thank you so much. How much should we pay you? How much should we pay you for uh, this 10 apples that we ate and all that? And this man thought for a very quick moment and he says, sir, 10 gold coins. Each apple, one gold coin. The king was surprised. He looked at the minister and he asked his man, is apple so rare? Is apple so rare in a kingdom that each apple is so expensive? Each apple is one gold coin. And this is really expensive. Is it so rare? So the man says, no, sir, apples are not rare, but meeting, meeting a hungry king, meeting a king is a very rare opportunity. Meeting a king is a very rare opportunity. The king was very happy with the answer. King was saying, wonderful, wonderful. Let me not give you 10 gold coins. I'll give you 100 gold coins. Picked up and gave him 100 gold coins for his intelligent answer. So what did we learn from this story? Simple story, beautiful story. Coach, but again, there are good learnings. Yeah. Think before you speak. Yeah, think before you speak. Very nice. Coach, could you repeat the last part? I couldn't hear you that well. So last part, what exactly was? Uh, that this person asked, 10 gold coins. He said 10 gold coins for 10 apples. The king was like surprised. He looked at his minister and he asked, is apple so rare? Apple so rare in our kingdom that they are so expensive. This man said, no sir, apples are not rare. Meeting you is very rare. I met the king for the first time and meeting you is a very rare opportunity. So what did we learn from this story? Coach, Coach, just because he's meeting, he's meeting the king, he's taking him for advantage and asking him more money for the apples. So never take advantage of someone? Take advantage of someone? Wonderful. Coach, when we get a chance, we should grab it. When we get an opportunity, grab it. Very nice. Coach. Be sharp in your actions. Yashmit says, be sharp in your actions. Co Coach. Yeah. We get paid for our actions. Because of his kindness, he got 100 gold coins. We, we get paid by our actions because of his wonderful, lovely. Yes, yeah, you thought the last part was. The king was very pleased with the answer. Instead of giving 10 coins, which he thought was very much, which is a lot more for just 10 apples, he did not give him 10. He gave him 100. He was very happy. Coach, Coach yeah, yes, never take advantage of a person. But he took advantage. No, he got advantage and he did not get 10 coins. He, took, he got 100 coins. Maybe the 10, maybe the 10, not just maybe, let actually. This is not taking advantage of business. Yeah, actually, 10 apples would not have costed even uh, one tenth of one gold coin. Would have been a fraction of a cost. But this man asked 10 gold coins, but eventually got 100 gold coins. Think, Coach, think, then think. I think my answer was not that inclined to the story. So I, I'd like to give another answer. And I think he got to like meet the 
king, which was very rare for him, which was very special for him. So he said that to the king itself, and the king got very happy that no one appreciated him that much and gave him more than what he needed. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. But why did king give him so much? What was the reason? It's a rare opportunity. Coach. Yes, Siddhi. It was because of his kind answer that he gave it to him. Ah, it is because of the kind answer. What is there in that answer? Think. Coach, for him it was a uh, rare to meet the king. Not all, uh, not all people get the opportunity to the, get the king. So that's why he was considered a rare person to meet the king. Nice. I'll give you all a clue. This is how this is how the entire capitalism works. Entire capitalism works. This is how the world works in terms of in terms of making money. Ha, ah, buttering. Buttering. Yashmit says buttering. Think about it. Raghavan sir, I want to hear from you also, sir. I, I, your views, anything about this? How come, first of all, he asked too much price, 10 gold coins, then he ended up getting 100 gold coins. Uh, three or four things I will speak. Please. First is create value. Create value. Second is value is for rarity. Value is for rarity. The king is the customer. So customer is the king. Customer is the king. Very nice. Do you see the fun in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. King's King is the customer and always treat your customer as the king. True. So there's a rare combination here in this story. Yeah. There's a normal and all the, the value for any commodity is the place and time. Here, the farmer knew that the king did not get any food the whole day. He will pay anything you ask for. So the farmer took the advantage and he gave the respect and he treated the king as the king. Yeah. <clears throat> so he did that very smart work. Thank you, Raghavan, sir, for wonderful, not just one, multiple shares. A customer is king, king is a customer. So it connects by itself. Wonderful. So let's summarize all. Anybody else wants to add? After Raghavan sir said, anybody has any other thoughts? How the marketing world works? Like this, there is a proportional to uh, Coach. Yes, Yukta. In the marketing world or in the advertising world, especially, um, they keep they they say their customer is the god, which means whatever they want, they will do. Whatever the customer wants, the the person who's selling it will do it for them. So in this way, just to get money from the king, he like Yashmit said, I think buttering. He buttered up um, that you so it was a rare opportunity to meet you. So one was that buttering up thing, and then uh, advertising. Advertising is really important. Even though, even though he said a lot, he, um, the king was pleased by his answer and his kind reply, like Siddhi said. Wonderful. Hey, the marketing uh, business price is directly proportional to demand. Even if it was not the king uh, or anybody else. He would have at least asked one gold coin. But since the king is uh, uh, has riches of the riches, he asked 10 gold coins. So, uh, due to his smartness, he got again 100. 
very nice. Okay, let's summarize this. One more view I'll add. Everybody, great views, wonderful oh, opinions. Now, uh, how we can put this is price is directly proportional to person's ego. And many use this to their ego boost. What happened was the farmer boosted the king's ego. Ah, meeting a king. Ah, meeting a king. King is very rare, sir. Sir, meeting you is very rare. So I am using this as an opportunity. Many a times it happened like that. Is it many a times the products are not sold for the price it is, but for the value it has been created. For example, an iPhone. Everybody knows the actual price of an iPhone and the cost of making it is not much. But the way it is priced, oh, so when a person has an iPhone, it boosts his ego. Ah, I use an iPhone. Right, that's how the marketing world works. That's what is advertising play works. So price is directly value to the ego boost. Also, one more view we can add is, yeah, it's also from the word of appreciation. Appreciation matters. People do great things. The king rewarded this guy. Appreciation encouragement can also be very helpful. It helps people to do great things. Isn't it? So, Yukta, you have seen many of the videos, your videos. Yeah, so I'm giving you one opportunity now. Can you do it the way it is supposed to be done? What, coach? Uh, the next part. The next part, all the bee breathing, God and is a breathing. Okay. Okay, you have to do it perfectly. How many videos you have seen? I've seen seven. Okay, great. You have spotted what are the things that you need to improve. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've spotted many things that I've imp I have need to improve and improved it today. Today and uh, yesterday. Wonderful. Let's start. Everybody, please. Ayukta, you need to go a little behind. Ah, yes. Great. Yeah. Everybody, please, in Vajrasana. Everybody, kindly sit in Vajrasana. Yukta, can you please unmute yourself once again? Yes, coach. Yeah. So, Yukta, you're the host. Start with Vajrasana, please. Yes, sir. I thought it in Vajrasana, Gyan Mudra. Let's start with our short meditation. Let's start with alternate nasal breathing.
Let's start with B reading, six counts. Um, 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 Let's start. Let's start with Energizer. Let's start with gratitude, cross your hands. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for being such an amazing person. Always so kind, always so caring, always good at advertising, always good at making people happy. Thank you, two pen, uh, two, thank you, two pairs of support, your mom and your dad for always being there for you. They've helped you to have uh, everything. They have, they've helped you through everything. Whether it's giving food to eat, a shelter to live in, or clothes to wear. Thank you, gurus, your teachers, your coaches, for always being there for you. They've led you in the right direction. They've taught you what's right and what's wrong. Thank Mother Nature for always giving you resources like food, water, money, everything. Now thank the Almighty, the God, for always giving you everything in abundance. Wealth, independence, intelligence, education, empathy. Kindness, caring, everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now imagine a, gra a great, great white light coming straight towards you, enters your head, your face, your ears, your neck, your hands, your shoulders, your hands, your fingers, your fingertips. It goes down your chest, your stomach, your thighs, your knees, your calves, and your toes. Head to toe, toe to head, fully blessed with a bright white light. Now, now we're in the state to start our goal visualization, goal meditation. Let's start. Now let go of your hands, hands on your heart and repeat after me. I'm amazing. I'm awesome. I'm empathetic. I'm really good at advertising. I'm excellent at advertising. I'm empathetic. I'm intelligent. I always treat people really well. I'm grateful. I have gratitude to everyone and anyone. I got you for anything and everything. I'm lovable, I'm capable, I'm valuable, and I'm a superb human. Then drop claps one, two, three, four, five. Last one. Second one. Last one. Open your eyes and see this world is a bright place. Coach. Thank you, Yukta. Great work. 
everybody live powerfully live purposefully you are all super people bye bye Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sachin and I am a life coach. I use games, activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel and please do comment. It will help us and inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also do visit our website. Thank you so much.